Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gary. I'm a cybersecurity professional by day and in this video I'm going to show you what you should do when you set up a new Kali VM. If you've never set up Kali or you hate doing it, go and check out my other video on how to set up Kali Linux and make it nice and easy. Otherwise, let's crack on. So the first thing I want you to do when you set up your new VM is take a snapshot. Snapshots save the day. In fact, snapshots probably save lives. Taking a snapshot takes a freeze frame of your VM at that point in time and saves it. You can completely mess up your VM two seconds after doing a snapshot and it's no big deal. You just roll back to that snapshot. Let me show you. So I've got Kali running inside VMware Fusion. If you're on VirtualBox, it's largely the same thing. Up in the menu bar, find your snapshots, click the button, take a new snapshot, and give it a name. Setup complete. Done. Now, as you can see, this is our current state at the bottom and our historical state, which was in the past, is here. Setup is complete. If we want to roll back to that, we just click on it and click this button and we hit don't save. Eventually. And there we go. We're rolled back just like that. If I make another snapshot, snapshot two, it sits in between the current state and that initial state. And we can just delete them by clicking delete. Nice and easy, huh? So boot up Kali and take a snapshot. That's the first thing done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our tmux config file. I have a whole separate video on that, but what you want to end up with is this. Inside your home folder, you'll end up having a .tmux.conf file. And if we look inside it, this is what you get. This is just some customizations to make tmux a lot easier to use. tmux is my preferred way to interact with the terminal. It's incredibly smart and fast compared to the normal terminal. So check out tmux. Again, link to that video is in the description. So the next thing we wanna do is fill up the opt folder. If I go into the opt folder, you'll see there's one thing in there, it's Microsoft PowerShell. We're gonna need a lot more tools than that. So let's go to GitHub and we're gonna search for lininum. Here it is. Lininum is a file that lets you enumerate Linux systems. I love it, I use it all the time, so let's get that. We're gonna click here, hit the little copy icon. Back over in the command line, I'll type get clone and paste that in. It needs sudo, so do sudo bang bang. Put in your Kali password and it's copied in. If we do ls, you can see lininum is now there and it is indeed inside. There it is, lininum.sh. And if I just run that, there we go, as you can see. It works. So go to GitHub, find all of your cool little hacking tools that you want, and then put them in the opt folder. Next thing, let's unzip the rockyou.txt file. This is more useful if you're competing in things like CTFs or unhack the box or try hack me, but let's have a look. If I locate rockyou, you'll see it's here in the word lists folder. And if we G unzip and then give it the location, sudo bang bang, done. Let's go into user, share, word lists, and you can see rockyou.txt, and if we cat it, it's all in there. Rockyou is ready to go for all of the CTFs that we might want to compete in. If you downloaded Kali Linux the same time I did, you have the same SSH key as me, and that's pretty dangerous, so let's make some new ones. So let's go into Etsy SSH, and if we look at what's in here, you can see there's a whole load of SSH host keys. We're gonna remove all of these. sudo rm ssh host asterisk. So let's remove those, and if I type ls, you'll see they're all gone. So now we need to generate some new SSH keys. So let's SSH K 
keygen and we'll do type RSA. It's going to generate a key pair. We're going to just save it there. No passphrase needed. If you want a passphrase, put it in. I'll do one called password123 exclamation mark. Terrible password. There we go. And now if we go to home Cali You see here we got the .ssh folder. If we go into that, here are the two SSH keys that we just generated. So we've taken snapshots, we've configured Tmux, we've filled the opt folder with all of the cool tools that we need. We've unzipped RockU and we've generated a new SSH key pair. We are ready to fight. Let's take another snapshot and we're good to go. Click up here snapshot ready to rock and we're done so the biggest lesson here is about taking snapshots if you haven't been taking snapshots when you're hacking you're doing it wrong make sure you take your snapshots it makes it a whole lot less stressful when things go wrong have a play and i'll see you next time